New legislation passed in the Senate intended to help Bahamas Power and Light refinance hundreds of millions of dollars in debt. The Attorney General let off that debate, but one opposition senator contends that the additional monetary demands that will be hoisted on the Bahamian public is one tax too many. Cleopatra Murphy has the details. The Electricity Rate Reduction Bond Bill 2019, intended to refinance BPL's $321 million legacy debt, was passed in the Senate Monday morning despite not getting the full support of the opposition. It establishes a legislative framework for BPL to raise $650 million through a rate reduction bond, and the Bahamas Rate Reduction Bond Limited will serve as the issuer. After a summer plagued with numerous blackouts, Attorney General Senator the Honorable Carl Bethel says the fund will help to address critical areas such as capacity and quality of generation, transmission and distribution, and legacy debt plaguing the power provider. For the first time, there is a government of the Bahamas which has a comprehensive, a comprehensive strategy to finally resolve the long-running debilitating and vexing problems that have plagued the electricity sector in this country. During debate on the bill in the House of Assembly, Minister of Public Works, the Honorable Desmond Bannister, announced that BPL customers could expect an approximately $30 increase on their bills that Bethel says is all a part of a short-term plan that will in the long term lead to a 40% electricity rate reduction. When that 40% drop goes into place, that will have the effect of erasing any cost associated with the uh, bond financing fee. Because a 40% drop in the electricity bill across the board is bound to be greatly in excess of the bond financing fee. So that is the strategy. It is a short-term pain for all of us, for long-term gain. Opposition Senator the Honorable Michael Darville in his contribution charged that he could not support the rate reduction bill as it was presented. He says consumers want more transparency and accountability from the current administration, accusing government of putting another bill on the backs of Bahamians at a time when they are at their most vulnerable. We are asking the government to reconsider their position, find a way to create some degree of comfort for the Bahamian people. We are asking BPL and the minister responsible to please produce the per business plan so that the individuals who have the expertise can scrutinize the plan and make recommendations that can help the government activate the rate reduction bond. Bethel, in wrapping the debate, says government has determined to act to fix a generations-long problem, adding that in order to act, it will come at a price. Cleopatra Murphy, Satanas Network News.